morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, it is early morning here in Tennessee and I'm here in the garden today. And as you've seen uh, in the video prior to this or the clip prior to this, we were talking about cauliflower and the benefits of cauliflower. Cauliflower is so good for you. There's so many nutritional benefits and you've seen that already, but they're also a lot of fun. But the thing about cauliflower where it differs from broccoli, if you've seen my broccoli video, they do not reproduce. They do not have those side shoots. So with broccoli, let me show you one here. Well, here's one, hold on. Here's a broccoli. Not broccoli. Now this one actually uh, is probably going to go to the chickens because it's got a little bit of discoloration on there. It has, when you harvest it at the side here, it has these little side shoots where it will reproduce. And so I cut that off. You can see there a little bit of broccoli. Cut that off, but it has the side shoot. And let me show you. See that side shoot? So what will happen is, is it will produce another broccoli. But with cauliflower, it's a little bit different because once you harvest the cauliflower, it once it's done, it's done. It's a one and done type of thing. So we're going to do the cauliflower and I want to show you the good things and the bad things that can happen with cauliflower because I had a little bit of both, okay? So right here, this right here is a little bit of just gardening tie or whatever you want to call it, a little rope, whatever. It is where you take these leaves and um, let's see if I can get the camera at an angle to show you those leaves. With, well, that's that over there, huh? That's a Brussels sprout. Hold on here. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, crazy hair, no makeup. This is how you get me today. This is just how it is in the garden. You have these great big leaves, and I'm going to take and harvest this and then show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's a cauliflower, okay? These are the leaves of the cauliflower. Now, you can see something was chewing on there, so I'm glad I got out here when I did. Uh, but what happened is, at the base of the cauliflower, it has these great big leaves that come up and it hides it. But see how this is a little bit yellow? You can see it's, it's not real white. It's a little bit yellow and a little bit pink. So uh, part of it could be the type. This is actually a snow crown cauliflower, but the yellow is damaged from the sun. And why is it damaged from the sun? Because I did not use the cute little tie things and tie the leaves around it to protect it from that. Now, it's not going to change the taste or the flavor at all whatsoever, but it does change the way that it looks. So, since this is done and it's not going to reproduce, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this puppy up out of here. Wow, see if I got the strength there. Oh, boy, that's a big one. Okay, wow, look how deep these roots go. Look at that. This is what the plant looked like. And in a minute, I'm going to take it over and my chickens are going to be so incredibly happy. They are going to enjoy it. Now, I usually reuse the leaves of all the stuff that we grow because I believe in using the whole plant because you can juice stuff. But in this situation, we're not. So let's take a look at this other one. This other one, same case scenario. Same case scenario on this one. Oh, man. I'm a little stubborn there. See those big leaves? So just so that you know, whenever you're growing, that you can take these leaves right here and tie it. Kind of like that, it's gonna protect it from the sun. But today, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna take that little baby cauliflower and I'm gonna put it in my basket. And of course it will be washed multiple times. You know, I've got a pretty gross thing that happened yesterday. Cause you know, new gardeners don't know these things and I am a city girl gone country. And you guys are growing right along with me. But I seen some really gross stuff in my broccolis whenever I was blanching them before I froze them. And it was pretty disgusting, little baby worms. So, but like I said, this is a snow crown brown, or, or wait a minute, snow crown? Yeah, let's see here. It is a snow crown cauliflower. And it says it matures in 50 days. And uh, it this yields one. So, you know, when you get these plants, you're only gonna get one cauliflower. So you may wonder, you know, why is cauliflower a little more expensive than some like cucumbers? Cucumbers, you plant one plant and you get tons and tons and tons of cucumbers. But with cauliflower, you plant one, you get one. So that's why it's more expensive in the grocery store. So here we've got another one. Let me go over here and get a good looking one, show you what a good one looks like, okay? So let's check this out. Here's one that I protected. 
I did it upright. And this will be the best one. And we'll probably, oh man, this could be yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna take these leaves off here. Do you see that there, that rope? I have protected it from the sun. And I purposely did some with and some without to show you why it's so important to do that because there it is. It's much better. Now this one does have a little bit of yellowing, but not much, okay? That's pretty much a nice looking healthy brock or a cauliflower there ready to eat. So again, I'm just gonna cut off the outer leaves, put it in my basket. Oops, missed some there. And that is going to be a wonderful, nice little treat. Miss Jada, would you like to give some of these leaves to the to the chickens? Sure. Okay. Jada's my helper. You might have seen Jada in our video before. Here you go. Here you go, sweet girl. Thank you. Yeah. Just throw it over the uh, thing whenever we were talking about the chickies. Or no, the duckies. The duckies. And we'll do one on chickies sometime soon because it's very important that you have, gar that you have homesteading chickens. Homesteading chickens are great. A lot of people do meat chickens. I'll be honest with you. I don't have the guts for that. <laughs> I can't kill an animal. Um, not even a chicken to eat. I know I, I'm not a vegetarian yet. I'm kind of getting closer to that. But some people raise meat chickens. We have a combination of several chickens out there. We love them all. I just can't imagine eating them. But somebody would. And let me just say this. Probably if I was desperate enough, I would. You know. So you never know. But we don't have a rooster anymore because the roosters that we have had have been a little psycho. And psycho roosters are not fun. So anyway, if you were on the homestead and you were wanting to grow rock or cauliflower, there's a couple things you need to know. First thing you need to know is they are a cold hardy plant and they can be, I actually put these out very early. Uh, we are in zone seven and there is so many things like this is, I'm, I'm harvesting a lot of stuff right now where some people are just putting the gardens out because I got an early start. Now, yes, we do have a greenhouse and I did start some things from seed but these, actually, these broccolis were bought at my one of my favorite local nurseries. So you can know. Don't don't pick the peaches. Don't pick the peaches, babe. I'm just feeling them. Okay. <laughs> if there are any bugs on them. Yeah, granddaughter's over there by the peaches. So we've got some peaches that'll be coming in. Maybe we'll do a video on peaches. You never know. But anyway, this one here, this is a teeny tiny one. And you can see that purple. See where this one didn't do so hot. But uh, I'm going to you know do some research. And, and here's the thing. If something fails in your garden... And you've got uh, chickens, they eat everything. Some of the things that they don't eat, well, they would eat, but we just don't want them to have it, is things like citrus. Citrus is not good for your chickens. So I'm gonna finish harvesting out some cauliflower this morning. And soon, as you can see, we're starting to get the little itty bitty bumps. Let me show you here. The little bumps. These are Brussels sprouts over there. See the Brussels sprouts? And so on the sides of the Brussels sprouts, I don't know if you can see it, but they're starting to get those itty bitty little bumps. And you know what that means. That means we're gonna have some yummy Brussels sprouts. Roasted Brussels sprouts are so incredibly good. Kind of like asparagus, they're yummy. So we're gonna sign off today. JD, you got anything to say to the viewers? Um, really not. Really not, not today? Okay, my little helper. All right, God bless you guys. And we will see you next time right here on the homestead. God bless.